shot. And hit it straight to the man. Hello and a very warm welcome to the highlights of the fifth and final one day international between Pakistan and South Africa in the NIB Bank presents Cool and Cool Cup. Pakistan have already lost the series 3-1 but they would so love to end it on a high note when they play in this fifth and final one day international. The track in the middle is dry and void of grass which means that the spinners would come into play as the match wears on. The toss was won by A.B. De Villiers, the third in a row, and he had no hesitation to elect to bat first. And those are the teams then. Pakistan have made a solitary change. Umar Amin comes in for Asad Shafiq. South Africa have made changes as well. Robin Peterson is back in the fold. So is Vernon Philanda. Welcome to the action then. Your opening voices in the commentary box. It's Mike Hazeman alongside Vakar Yunus. This guy in Preston Aim didn't pick up the Man of the Match award because Dale Stain was just simply brilliant with his 5 for 25. Just his second five wicket haul in one day is. But it was the first one international 100 for Quinton de Kock at 20 years of age. And if you heard the interviews not so long ago, Hasha Mumla was saying that uh, he enjoyed watching him from the other end and what a talent he is. Speaking of talent, those numbers are outstanding for Hasha Mumla. So just a reminder, if you've just joined us, South Africa won the toss and elected to bat. Pakistan again losing a toss. By the way, they've lost five out of seven tosses on the tour, including the test matches up until now. So Miss Bars had uh, not much luck as far as the coins concerned. But whenever we get going at the start of a game, whether it's a test match or a one-dayer, this is uh, a fascinating little head-to-head -head between Mohamed Afan and also Hashim Amla. It's picked him up four times in one day is he's picked him up once in a test match as well he's got him in one day as more than any other bowler on the world stage so the track is going to be good to bat on at the start it's certainly going to turn it's certainly going to uh, encourage the spinners later and there's just a little bit of swing as well first up on the button again from Muhammad Afan and Hashimam is off the mark. Alongside me is Waka Yunus. Waka, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mike. Once again, uh, South African uh, winning the toss and electing to bat. And in the last few outings, South Africans have been uh, outstanding when they batted first. Uh, they managed to get 250, 250 plus. This man got 100 in the last game. Some of the Pakistani batsmen must have been relieved that this man, Dale Stain, is not playing today. What a performance that was. Afan, some swing. The first delivery, operating with a couple of slips. Down to third man for just the single. This is the 213th one day international to be played at Sharjah. And it's not going to surprise you one bit, Waka, to know that not one game has been affected by rain. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. And up goes the finger. Just came back enough. Now, Hasamam is walking down to young Quinton de Kock and asking, should we go upstairs with a review? It looked okay to me. I think Hassam's going to keep walking. Looks like he's going to... Oh, there's a bit of a chat still. No, he keeps going. Unselfishly decides not to review that. So Mohamed Afan again has got one of the finest around. Top delivery. The only question which uh, Hashim Amla can ask, maybe, that did it pitch outside the line? Well, he decided, uh, no, I will uh, not be selfish. I'll not take the review. So he's walking off the field. First wicket, first blood for Pakistan. Big wicket. Hashim Amla gone for threes, four for one. Whip that away, well in front of square, and that's gone for four. 
first boundary just a little short controlled it very nicely Quinton de Kock he was uh, not looking to go square he was looking more toward mid wicket man in form you can clearly tell the way he played that shot superb stroke it's nice and strong that's beautifully played do think maybe there should have been a bit of a dive there to stop that uh, boundary but it's a fine stroke from de Kock. yeah it wasn't the best of the effort at mid off from say Dajmal check stroke it wasn't really flea flowing stroke it was more of uh, checking the stroke at the last second slow delivery but nicely timed right from the middle of the bat but the effort from the man at uh, mid off not the best he could have dived and maybe saved his team few runs Oh, charging Mohamed Tanvi, that's, uh, that's a very, very good shot over the head of the bowler. Safest place to hit and boundary again. So continuing from where he left off in Abu Dhabi, Quinton really looks good. Well, this was an excellent strike. Good use of the feet by Quinton de Kock. He didn't try and hit that ball too hard. He just timed it and placed it superbly. got to be close and he's given it initial impression to me was that Quinton de Kock played right back he had this problem a little bit in Sri Lanka played across the line to the off spinners there and Senna Naika in particular gave him some problems there so that's exactly what happened this time as well he's looking to play two square on the leg side coming round the wicket to de Kock that's a big wicket hit him on the back foot just uh, near the knee roll and I think uh, Quinton was pretty much sure where he's been hit so he didn't even uh, think of the referral there and uh, Pakistan gets a big one Dikok goes for 34 after facing 41 South Africa 54 for two in the air and caught slow track played the shot early Mohammed Hafiz has picked up a wicket as he often does when he comes into the attack he does a wonderful job with the ball in the one day as and JP Dumini is very disappointed Pakistan again with the squeeze on and he's gone on the back foot ball just not arriving for JP Dumini trying to turn it for one and a good catch by Emma Chazad <laughs> 62 for three and JP goes for two That slice off the open blade down a third man has gone for four so there's another error again same old story being let down in the field intentionally open the face I think here will be de Villiers but international cricket you've got to stop that maybe go with the hands maybe Well, that's an excellent stroke. So that is good use of the feet, good placement, good timing, particularly on this slow surface. So far to the sea, getting right to the pitch of that one and placing it to perfection. They were very reluctant since uh, this last ball. They were uh, very cautious using their feet. Like playing from the crease, the last delivery. 88 for three. Around the wicket played over the inside circle, but straight into the hands of that fielder at deep square leg. So Tanvi takes the catch, and Pakistan manages to break that partnership we were talking about. Duplessis goes. Good wicket for Pakistan at the right time. Duplessis picked that up fairly well, but he's hit it straight, straight down Soil Tanvi's throat be a bit disappointed after getting a good solid start and in his 40s 
Duplicy goes for 46, 124 for four. Oh, pulled away nicely. That's the advantage of the batting power play. Miller using the long handle, clearing that inside field and getting four runs. Been a while to see that boundary coming in. Welcome one for South Africa. Just the power we were talking about. He's absolutely smashed that. And he's a strong fellow and he's nailed that. And that's race to the fence. Stable base and bam. Got him, caught and bowled. Miller not getting the pace of this pitch at all. It really was difficult for him as a stroke player to come out and try and grab this game by the scruff of the neck. In the end, just bunted us straight back to the spinner. Very difficult for the middle order batsman coming in to get going. That was a quicker delivery. David Miller just played too early. Straight back to Ajmal, a comfortable catch for him. So he picks up his second wicket in the game. He's bowling quite beautifully. Disappointment for David Miller. He's gone for 15 of 25 deliveries, South Africa 150 for 5. Short, plenty of time to smack that and he does for 6, almost takes out the security guard as well. Brings up his 50, that's a good effort by Avi de Villiers, he's had to work hard for his runs. And a nice way to bring up that half century. It was a short delivery, one of the few bad ones that Ajmal has bowled. And AP de Villiers had no problem. That's flying away for four. In the air for a while, desperate dive, but another boundary is the result. Excellent stroke by Ryan McLaren. He timed that square cut to perfection. Hobbit of Fahn, by the way, he's got a little bit of tap in his first three overs. That was well past Shazad before he had a chance to, uh, to fly towards it. Beautifully struck by Avid Villiers. Excellent timing. So South Africa is starting to just hit their straps in the latter overs. Avid Villiers getting inside the line, playing that square cut. To perfection. He's hit that. Has he hit it far enough? Yes, he has. He's got another six. Beautifully played by Abe de Villiers. He's looking to take this attack on now. Ajmal coming around the wicket and didn't work. The power sweep by Abe de Villiers. It's an excellent shot, so very good passage of play now for South Africa. We're just starting to get on with it now. Abit Avili is finding his range. Full toss and uh, clearing Shahid Afridi there at mid-wicket and should be another boundary. And yes, it is. Well, Sohel Tanvir was trying to compensate with the, with the yoke length, but... Uh, Abi de Villiers out of his crease is making sure that uh, the ball shouldn't land and picked it quite nicely on the mid wicket region. You don't really see fielder there. Very nicely done. Wow, what a shot! Picked it off the legs full and even in the zone for uh, McLaren yes McLaren picked that well and McLaren has really done well for South Africa down in the order seen him getting those big hits and adding the valuable runs to the score making sure that even today South Africa gets to that uh, 230 mark we've been talking about and he's placed that well too Oh, four more on the legs just a gentle touch of the bat and the ball space takes it all the way well if you're gonna bowl like that 
I don't think one should expect any mercy from the batsman. There was a hit me delivery. It was right on the legs and all he needed was just a little click of a bat on it. A little bit of wood on the ball and that one raced to the boundary. That's the third boundary. First three balls, three boundaries. Oh, that's played very well. Shuffling inside the crease and playing it nice and fine to the right of that deep backward square leg fielder. No chance for him to cut that off. It's a very typical A.B. De Villiers shot. Well, he's used the pace quite nicely. That was a faster delivery, 110.5 kilometers an hour. All he needed was to just, just pick a spot and uh, make sure he places it there. And he did it very nicely. I was given the flight and it's played so well again to the right of mid-off this time. So four more runs. We're just talking about A.B. De Villiers. He's done so well across the three formats for South Africa. He's bowled well earlier, uh, Saeed Ajmal. He's having a little bit of problem against uh, A.B. De Villiers. That was fuller, a lot more flight, a lot slower. taken Junaid Khan on the inner circle 30 yards comfortably taken Saeed Ajmal picks up another wicket As he was trying to clear that fielder only managing to go right down his throat and uh, loses his wicket I think he's done well and he's done the damage 27 of 24 for Ryan McLaren Ajmal gets his third South Africa 233 for six after 48. Bowled him nice and straight. Nip back a little bit. And Peterson was looking to heave it over mid wicket. Cross bat. Disturbed the castle. Yes, playing across the line. Nowhere behind the ball. And the ball just goes and hits the stump. So second for Junaid Khan. And the seventh South African wicket falls. Peterson goes. And South Africa 240 for seven inside the 49th over. Oh, that's in the air. That should be taken. No, it's going to fall in the vacant area. And that's four runs. And that is a well-deserved hundred. What a knock from the captain. He's paced his innings so well, he's stood out there and played on the slow wicket and he's done so well. And how he changed gears after the 40th over. Wow, still looking to make it 4-1 here in UAE. A real captain's knock. There's only been 200 scored in this uh, series so far. He's the second man to get it. And uh, what a knock. Quinton de Kock was the first one to get and he's only he's the only South African batsman who has scored but could be out it's in the air there's a man coming under it he's not gonna make that that's gone over him has gone for six for a while looked he didn't quite get hold of it but then yes had a lot of height to it and in the end the fielder almost to the ball but after crossing the rope no chance for Shazad there so two big hits and South Africa getting to that 260 mark that also brings uh, 6,000 runs for this man uh, in the ODIs inside out what a shot <laughs> so four more runs to A.B. de Villiers four more to South Africa a big over for them as a third boundary in this over, a six and a three. Soel Tanvir really giving away runs here. 54 in his eighth over. One more, yes. Made himself a bit of room and hit it uh, crisply through that cover region. 20 runs. 21 runs has been scored so far in this over. One more delivery to go. Last ball of the inning. That's another four. That was uh, 
hit it nicely and uh, didn't look to hit it upishly and uh, fetch another boundary what an over for for the south africans last over cost 525 runs last 10 overs 114 has been scored and thanks to this man scoring his century as well as taking uh, the team in a position where they can uh, they can win this game comfortably yes who would have thought 268 but with de Villiers out there definitely possible and south africa really uh, got into top gear after the 40th over they didn't really do much in the batting power play but then after that look at that 25 of the last over and what a knock from ab de Villiers. So that's how South Africa's innings shaped up then. A.B. de Villiers was the big 115 there and that was the innings that guided them to that climate's total somewhat on this wicket, 268 for 7. On to Pakistan's bowling, Irfan went for runs for the first time in the series, 52 for 1 in the end, his figures, 3 for 45, Ajmal was the pick of the bowlers and Junaid Khan picking up two wickets as well. So that's the target then for Pakistan. They need 269 runs to end it on a high note and bring the series margin to 3-2. We'll head into a very short break on the highlights. When we come back, we'll see Pakistan's chase. It's the top, Muhammad Hafiz hasn't delivered yet in the one-day game and averages overall just 28, which I don't think does him justice. He certainly should have a higher average than that. But his uh, partner has played a couple of sparkling knocks so far in this series. Averaging just 29 as well. A couple of 58s. Seven splendid fours and a 30 near Abu Dhabi as well. Alongside Ms. Waka Yunus. Waka, good evening. Good evening, uh, Mike. And good evening, all the viewers. Well, uh, the South Africans got... Uh, every right to think that they're sitting comfortable they are uh, in the driving seat the lender playing his uh, first game of the series he's played nine games uh, in the past uh, he's been around for a while but has not uh, been playing the one day so this is an opportunity for him to put his mark swept away leg side Wayne Parnell is scooting around. A little bit of a flip at the end. The call will be here as to whether he's moved that uh, boundary triangle back. And the board have naturally crossed it or not. Must have been a relieved man. A loose delivery from Felenda. It was on to Hafiz's legs. I have a feeling that that ball uh, has uh, crossed the skirting. Because skirting has been pushed back. So I have a feeling that... Uh, the umpire might give that uh, four. There's no problem here. It's the problem right there. I feel that that's gone. That's four. Cries of catch early. He's picked him up beautifully. Vernon Philander has taken a very simple catch. Down a fine leg, Namwabo Totobi has picked up his first wicket. That's something that Totobi has been known to do over the years. Strike early, he's done it again. Was not the best of the delivery. Totobi has definitely bowled a lot better than that. But he'll take that wicket. It smiles, uh, tells the story. He knows that he didn't bowl the best. But Emma Shazad uh, picked the wrong man, picked the wrong shot. And he's gone now. He scored two of 13 deliveries. He's eight for one. Got him. Terrific. Outstanding stuff from Vernon Philander. Bang on target again. He is just an exceptional bowler. His control is superb. And he's caused some serious damage to those stumps. Well, the key is to bowl straight on the surface, playing across. He was looking to hit toward mid-wicket. And that ball didn't do much, just kept straight. Kept going straight and hit the middle stump. Mohamed Afiz uh, once again failed 16 deliveries his face for his six runs. He's eight for two. 
Oh, that's a close shot. That is out. Hit him very low on the pad. He's playing within the crease, and Omar Amin seems uh, he's asking his uh, partner if it looks good for a referral or not. Well, he bowls wicket to wicket, Vernon Philander. So what happened here is that Umar Amin planted his front foot and played across it. And it hit him quite low down. So they're not going to go upstairs. He's uh, pretty convinced, and his partner as well, that there was no doubt as far as this decision is concerned. Good same presentation. You can't get be more out than that. That will probably hit middle stump halfway up. So excellent bowling by Vernon Philander. Pitched on line, just does enough. Just comes back in, it's in bang in front of middle stump and hits it three quarters of the way up. So, very good bowling by Vernon Philander. Good to see as well him coming to the fore in one day cricket. He's got two wickets now. Umar Amin gone for five. Pakistan in disarray, 17 for three. And nicely played, strongly driven through the covers. Maksud, that is a good shot on the up. Ryan McLaren does the fielding. Yeah, from the time he walked in uh, to the previous One Day International, showed a lot of intent, very positive. Got Pakistan in a position where they believed they could beat South Africa in the fourth one there. In the game today, in complete control of that shot too. That's nicely struck. It was a short delivery. And that's Maksud getting into position quickly and playing the pull shot perfectly. Good hand eye coordination. He's just uh, stood tall right behind that ball. A lot of risk there and cleared that uh, inside field, the 30 yard circle on the onside. He's got a mid wicket present there. And uh, four good runs. Wow, he's picked that one well. And he's played that one just above this commentary box, hits uh, that roof and comes down. What a clean hit that was. Well, what a strike. Beautifully struck by Miss Bowl Huck. His delivery was a fraction full. While it's at all, he just rolled his fingers across it. Miss Bowl just stayed in the shot, as we say. He kept his head in the shot, his weight went right through that shot, and it was just beautifully played. I had to double check the batsman and then I saw him. He's faced seven balls and missed up playing that kind of a shot. That's really not him. But what a strike. That's a six on any ground. And he's got that not quite in the middle. Got it on the bottom of the bat, but it's good enough to go over mid on for four. So good intent shown by Maksud. on top of that played that one just one bouncer uh, and the long on boundary as uh, the field is inside the circle so taking advantage uh, of that showed clear intent full swing of his arms stand and deliver got him Straight to Miller at mid-wicket, just in front of square, in fact. Short ball has worked, clearly a plan from A.B. de Villiers and Ryan McLaren. He has the knack, Ryan McLaren, of picking up some tidy wickets. That's his eighth now for the series. That man, McLaren, again, he just keeps getting wickets. He's dug that in and Mispa's never been in position. He's too quickly onto him and has gone straight to mid-wicket. McLaren did another one, he just keeps racking them up. Misbah gone for 18, Pakistan 56 for 4. That's a good shot, very good indeed. Two bounces skipped away for 4. What a shot by Maksud. He likes it getting after the spinners and once again coming down the track. Down the track, freeing his arms over extra cover, that's a top quality shot. I just love the way this guy plays without any fear. We saw that from Quinton de Kock in the last game, and that's just beautiful. It really is terrific. He knows he's got a job to do. He's got to try and get after Robbie Peterson so he doesn't settle. Good shot. What a good shot that is. A step or two down the deck and four runs. 
Omar Akmal at his bat, hitting straight down, down the ground in controlled fashion. That's when he bats the best. He's hit that, no wild swing, just a controlled hit down the ground. Yeah, it's a really good example of his talent, how clean that hit is. This is one of the concerns for Vernon Philander, I suppose, in this game, that he might be a little bit predictable with his length. Shot again and pulled it over Minon. Good control over that shot, Maksud. Picks up another foul boundary. Yes, read the length very quickly and he was quickly on top of, top of that. He placed that shot very well and made sure he clears that uh, circle. And uh, got that boundary, a couple of bounces into the fence. Soheb still fighting back. Pakistan after losing their captain. Are looking to rebuild again. Oh, he's dropped it. It cannot uh, be easier than this. End of the over, 91 for four. So that's nicely timed. What a timing. Bit of extra bounce. More pace from the bowler. But used that quite nicely. Yes, it was all about timing and Sotsobi, a third man, had no chance. He just uh, took a few brisk steps, but the ball had already crossed the boundary line. Good timing, right on top of the delivery. close this might be close it's given well he's given that he's just straight away asked for the ask for the review I'm not sure if he has uh, nicked it onto the pad or that could be the only thing which saved him because that looks pretty straight to me felt like two sounds for a second maybe the bat brushed the uh, the ground while he was trying to sweep but uh, he immediately went for the review after he was given out it's not a no ball so he's okay fair amount of put boot behind the line mm. <laughs> not sure this definitely hit the glove after hitting the pad on the way up can't really tell from there that it did nick it or not I don't really see that ball uh, hit any part of the bat. This uh, ball is uh, looks pretty clear when it comes to hitting the bat. This will tell us a better story. Yeah, clearly missing the bat. You can see there it's the daylight between the bat and ball. Now this will be the important part. That's that's fine. It's hitting. It's three reds. That's three reds, so it's got to go. Umar Akmal uh, took the review, and review's been wasted. It was a pretty straightforward uh, LBW decision by the umpire, and uh, Umar Akmal's got to go. He was quick in asking for the review. I thought he might have just nicked it, but no, he's, uh, he's got to move on. He's got to go back to the dressing room. He scored only 30 of 38 balls. It's 110 for five. Pulled away by Shahid Afridi. He's within his range. He cleared that mid on fielder and got it down for four. Yes, he was uh, in a very good position. He made his position very, very quickly. Got into a position nicely and uh, it was uh, in that arc. Watch that back foot going across and uh, it looks very positive hitting that. Beautiful shot by Maksud off the back foot against the turn. He's punched that to the covers. Very, very impressive, Maksud again. 
letting it turn and he's whacked that through the covers. That's an excellent shot. Very good footwork by Maksud and timing as well. So he's on 49. Half century in the previous match as well, so he played very well there. Followed that up by another good performance tonight. There it is, very well played by Maksud. Well deserved half century for him, following on from the 56 that he got in Abu Dhabi. A real positive out of the series for Pakistan. Second consecutive 50 against South Africa, and he's impressed. All of us there, uh, that it real intent and just maybe you can carry on and carry Pakistan on. Very good strike rate as well, strike rate of 80, so that's excellent. So the problem with Wayne Parnell from a bowling point of view is that he, he does bowl some wicket-taking deliveries, but consistency is an issue. That's why when he's not getting wickets, he tends to be expensive because consistency can be a problem. Well, that should be done and dusted. A good bounce by Wayne Parnell. Shahid Afridi, he doesn't like the short pitch delivery. That's well known. He was very late on that one, so good bowling. Short ball working again for South Africa. That's a good short ball. Got high on him and Afridi in no position. And he takes a comfortable catch, Parnell. Once again, the short ball doing for Shahid Afridi. He's gone for nine, Pakistan one, 28 for six. Well, not a clever shot, it has to be said. Just lost the wicket of a Freedy, so this one, Maksud, straight up in the air. So he's gone as well. Maksud trying to hit that out of the park, right at the bottom of the bat, he sliced underneath that and Flander takes the catch. Not a very clever shot, but he's batted well, Maksud. Batted well and he's got out for 53, 130 for 7. Batting's been really disappointing throughout the series and it's becoming, becoming quite a similar story every time around, even, even the games of last speak out the same things in the press conference blaming the batting again and again so Bassett what is the solution then or isn't there one what can they do to improve this batting that's got to be out and given Wayne Parnell from around the wicket so very little doubt about that one hit side Ajmal low and it just looked like a good shot Ajmal playing all around that and He's got out in that fashion a couple of times in the series and Parnell knew it that he was right in front. Ajmal out for one, 131 for eight. So Pakistan have lost three wickets now for just three runs. So another one of those horrifying collapses. So Mohamed Irfan not known for his prowess with a bat comes to the wicket with this innings in tatters once again. They had 131 for eight, and this is why he's there. Look pretty plum. Oh. 
Ajmal, not near it at all. He was sort of far too late and it struck him thudding into his pad. That's a good bouncer. That's going to be regulation. So good bowling off the glove. Wayne Parnell, well, he's cleaning up. He gets his third. Mohamed Irfan, he's on his way as well. Parnell's then done, done well to bounce Irfan out. He's got that high. And Irfan just gloving it to Hashim Amla. Oh, Buzzard, can you believe it? Pakistan have now lost four wickets for just three runs. Again, one of those nightmare collapses. So, Mohamed Irfan, the big fella, he's gone for naught. 131 for nine. So, Junaid Khan comes to the wicket. Bit of a lost cause from his personal point of view and the team's personal point of view as well. Four wickets for just three runs. Pakistan have lost now. No runs for the last 14 deliveries. Bounced him out. Can you believe it, Kepler? Seven foot one, and he's bounced him out. That's a good strike to finish the over for Pakistan. So, 138 for nine. Well, that's the batting power play. Well. Not much to be gained from that, I'm afraid, but uh, Robin Peterson hasn't got a wicket yet, so he'd dearly love to finish off this match. Imran Tahir has done exceptionally well in the previous matches, so an opportunity for Robin Peterson again tonight. He hasn't gone too badly, he's conceded 23 in his four overs, hasn't got a wicket, so be a bonus for him if he can finish off this innings. It's all looking good for South Africa going in the right direction. It's just that Achilles heel that the ICC tournament, they build up to that quite nicely. And in the ICC tournaments, they have uh, one bad game and it's all over. They've got a very important uh, three matches coming up against India in a one-day series shortly. So that's going to tell the tale of how the team has developed. Very nicely played by Tanvir. This Indian batting lineup is uh, is pretty strong, so they will prove a sterner test than this Pakistan lineup has provided in this series. So, I'm sure, South Africa will be looking forward to test their skills against India shortly. In the air, will uh, not carry to the fielder. Good evening, Sikandar. Good evening, Wakar, and uh, a good try there in the uh, outfield for that catch to wrap things up. And so, Iltanweed is trying to use that long handle. He's got a couple of clean hits. And this time, not very far away from Peterson. He dived towards his right, Dumini rather. Just that one wicket to make it 4 1. Pull it, and the fielder there, he tried his best. It was not far away from him, but that was struck very nicely. Struck it very hard. One bounce four. The short ball again. And uh, nicely in control, but what an effort. What an effort. Miller on that occasion. Full stretch dive towards his left. But that, as you said, struck very well. Out. That is a little nick. Could hear it. This was a slow delivery, and uh, Sohail Tanvir nicked that one to Quinton de Kock behind the stumps, and that also wraps the match, and uh, also wraps the series. South Africa winning this series by 4-1 in this uh, five-match competition. Only 150 runs Pakistan managed to get, losing all their wickets. And South Africa winning by 117 runs. 
Very convincing victory for the South Africans. They batted well, they fielded well, and at the end to finish, they bowled extremely well. So another sorry performance of Pakistan with the bat there. And uh, so here Maksud with 53 was the pick of the batting there and 30 Umar Akmal, another contribution. But then it was two less for Pakistan in the end. 151 is what they were bundled out in the end for. South Africa, most of the bowlers were among the wickets. 3 for 36, Parnell was the pick. A couple of wickets for Philander, McLaren and JP Dumini. That's the match in brief then. South Africa 268 for 7. De Villiers making that 115 not out. And Pakistan in reply bowled out for 151. And as a result, South Africa winning by 117 runs, winning the series 4 1. And AB De Villiers for his magnificent century was declared the man of the match as well. And he did lead from the front there. And man of the series was Ryan McLaren who contributed with the ball as well, the bat as well. That's all we have on the highlights for the fifth and final one-day international between Pakistan and South Africa. Hope you enjoyed the action. Goodbye.